to the number 87, and uh, we are seeing a lot of activity here. Seneca tried the low side, brought the crowd to its feet. He tries it again. The crafty veteran coming through and going side by side at the white flag. Bob Seneca has now led the one lap to go. He sneaks by on the inside. Joe not trying to hold that high line, getting a good drive. Two great drivers, one of the younger ones and one of the veterans, going wheel to wheel out of the final turn. Who will get the strike first. It is going to be sideways Bob Seneca over the pit wall and it looked like he got the door of his car across the finish line first to take the checkered flag here. Joe Knott will be second. There is wreckage all over the track here at the end of this one. What a way to end the season. Unbelievable. Terry Labonte and Dale Earnhardt at Bristol earlier this year and this one even more dramatic as Bob Seneca up on the wall and the main straightaway down off off the wall and it did look like from our vantage point he was able to go nearly upside down across the start finish line with a victory and you know he's got a lot of damage to that race car but he's if he won this race he's got a few more bucks to uh, to fix it up no doubt about that Bob Seneca whatever pain he might be feeling there and look at Joe not uh, nodding he's okay we will come back and try to sort it all out we called it like we saw it and we'll have to tell you like it was in just a moment Welcome back to Jennerstown, everybody. You're seeing, uh, that's Ralph Shaheen in the middle, by the way. <laughs> Joe Knott on the left and Bob Seneca on the right. Sort it out for us, Ralph. Well, this is what's left of Bob Seneca's car. You can see there, Joey Knott and Bob Seneca have joined me over here. Let's start with you, Bob. Believe this or not, folks, this is Bob Seneca's first wreck of 1995. Boy, you do it spectacular. Tell me what happened. Well, well I got inside of Joey there with a lap or two to go, and, uh, it was tight racing. He was trying to hold me down. I don't blame him because it's the last lap of a 400 lap or last, last lap of the year. He was going for it and I was going for it. We just uh, got hooked coming off the fourth turn there. I, I don't think I did anything wrong. Of course, I don't think he thinks he did anything wrong, but I wrecked my car pretty bad. <laughs> you had been after him for a good dozen or so laps. Were you just waiting for that last lap? No, I think uh, I was getting a little bit better as, as, uh, as the laps went on. I could get on him a little easier and a little easier. And I could run up on the apron a little better than he could. And, uh, he just left me enough room to get under him, and I was in there, but we tangled. Well, you crawled out of the car. I take it you're okay? Well, a little stiff, but yeah, I'm fine. Uh, it'll be easier to deal with that stiffness with a win. Joey Knott, how you feeling? You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. You know, same thing Bob said. We're just out there racing hard as we can, you know. Same thing. You know, I, I don't think I did anything wrong. He doesn't think he did anything wrong. So at least we brought the, home, you know, the Valvoline Ray before car home. It's not in one piece, but it's in second place, so we'll take that. Well, this was by far the best race of your entire career. How do you feel now? Do you feel like you've earned some respect after that kind of a finish? Well, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. We'll see what these guys think about it. But I hope we do, and you know, we'll be back next year. We'll be able to have a real strong team. I look forward to winning some more races. Gentlemen, an absolutely incredible finish. One of the best seasons ever on the AC Delco Challenge Series. And some real sportsmanship displayed by the drivers of the two combatants to the checkered flag, Joe Nod and... Bob Seneca, and there was no doubt about it. We looked at a couple of replays. I don't remember ever seeing an ASA race finish tail first to the winner of the race.